Hi everyone, Matt here. Uh, decided to do a little bit of a different uh, video style today. Taking you from, from my uh, little bit of a morning walk around my neighborhood. So this is going to be a video on basically how I paid off my $22,000 student loan debt. And it's well, actually a little more than $22,000. It's also the beginning of my whole financial journey. Uh, this is kind of how I started getting involved in the Dave Ramsey system, getting involved in actually caring about my finances, which I look back on it now and realize why I wasn't even, why wasn't I even interested in this before? But anyways, um, so I graduated in uh, June of 2009. And when I graduated, I had about $22,000 worth of student loan debt, uh, no job, I had no car, I think I had about 30, <laughs> this is live, um, had about 30, I think I had about $3,500 in savings. And now the reason why I had the $3,500 was because um, my mom gave me I think $1,000 before I left for college, and I just kept it, and I kept adding to it over and over. So it eventually got to around 3,500 or so, and I kept it in a, uh, a rolled up sock in my, 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 uh, my closet. <laughs> so that's really all I had at the end of 2009, or June, June of 2009, and the thing was is the place that my roommates and I were staying for college uh, was basically it was sold so I had to move so only about $3,500 in my pocket no job no car over $22,000 of student loan debt and I had to move back home with my mom my first job actually when after I moved back home I was my actually my first job after college was the job that I originally had from back a few summers prior and that was as a host at the local IHOP. Eight bucks an hour minimum wage for part-time work. Not um, the most ideal <laughs> of all scenarios but it was something and it was it got a little bit of money in um, at least a little bit uh, that I could work with. And I was there for a few months until I actually ended up getting a job at uh, my first engineering company. And that was, I believe, end of September. So at the end of September is when I actually first started working at uh, my first actual real engineering job. And that was more of an internship. It was 15 bucks an hour, and I'm still living at home, but I now had two jobs, working seven days a week. And then, towards near the end of November of 2000, 2009, is when I actually started going through uh, the whole, or started noticing the whole Dave Ramsey uh, situation. And, and uh, my dad had originally mentioned it to me, but I hadn't really um, looked at it in any kind of real depth before. And then there was, I think I just, for some reason I started looking up on the, uh, on the, on his website that had some kind of a little calculator that said, Hey, compare your situation to the Dave Ramsey, to the Dave Ramsey plan. And I did. And apparently my plan was not as good. Uh, so I started looking at that and that was when I was introduced to the baby steps and I thought, Hey, that actually sounds like a pretty good idea. I might go ahead and give that a shot because it might end up working out in my favor so I had decided from that point to take my student loan debt and see if I could go ahead and knock that thing out as quickly as possible so it was I think at the end of 2009 so we're talking December 2009 I ran the math and found out that I would be able to pay off my $22,000 student loan in about 12 months, 
That's what the math said. And what's important was that I was learning, that's what my budget was telling me. So I listed all my expenses, I listed all my income, and every, you know, I paid all my bills and everything like that. And after all that was all taken care of, I would have enough left over to pay for the student loans and that right there would lead me to around that 12 month figure that I originally thought figured out. And just to mention, when I uh, got my second job, when I was finally working as an engineer and I was getting the 15 bucks an hour and everything like that, I was also paying um, my mom about 400 bucks a month. And that was to cover just like some basic rent, food, utilities, that kind of stuff. So in January of 2010, I started making my payments onto my student loan because my student loan at the time was in deferment, meaning that I had a six month grace period from June to start paying it. So I had to start paying it right in January. And I think I started out by hitting it with around $2,500 or so. I started out with the baby step one. I took the $3,500, which I was really reluctant to getting rid of. I did not want to do that at all. Um, that $3,500 took me about four years to save that up. And I was really not okay with uh, losing it and dropping it all the way down. But that's what the baby step said to do. So I took $1,000 of the $3,500. That was baby step one complete. And then the rest of it all went as a giant one hit against the loan. So I was working two jobs. Monday through Friday, I was an engineer, eight to five. And then Wednesday and Thursday night and Saturday and Sunday mornings from about nine to one o'clock, I was a host at the restaurant. For all of 2010, I probably, the number of days that I had off to myself, you could probably count on one hand. I was working every single day. And any days that I did get off, like say like the 4th of July, when the engineering company was uh, no longer, uh, or wasn't, uh, I didn't have any uh, hours scheduled for then, I'd try to go to the restaurant. I had severely cut back on a lot of my budget. I would, this is also, I was starting to do the envelope system. I had, I was doing everything in cash. I was doing everything in a way that um, allowed me to uh, reduce my expenditures as much as possible. One of the really uh, benefits of working at a restaurant was we had this thing that was called a meal plan. So on Saturday and Sunday, uh, I could get uh, like a nine or $10 meal basically for a couple bucks and it just came right out of my paycheck. So that really would help out uh, when it came to food and budgeting for food because you know, that was like a whole day's meal that I didn't have to worry about. Fast forward a few months. Eventually, I got my own place. And I, when I moved in, I think it was around August or so. And I remember these, uh, the numbers that I remember are my rent was about 840 bucks. My, um, I think the cable bill or something like that was around 30 or 40 bucks. Um, phone was around 80 or so, something like that, for a single line. Uh, but it wasn't too bad for a single person, you know, and just a single, small little one bedroom uh, apartment that I had. But it was my first apartment that I had and I could afford it. And again, I was still working, again, my two jobs. So, and it was also at this time that I started looking, because what I was doing was, I was paying extra on, obviously, on my debt. But at the same time, as I was putting more and more on the debt, what I realized was that when I recalculated my payoff date, what I noticed was that uh, it, wasn't, it was no longer 12 months. It was actually around, uh, I think, about 10 and a half months. And just because I kept putting a bunch, you know, a bunch of extra uh, payments towards, uh, towards the student loan. And what I realized was like, hey, wait a minute. I can actually manipulate this into my own favor here. And that's when I started doing what I call now reverse budgeting, where instead of me actually starting out um, figuring out what or 
having my expenses dictate what my payoff date was. You know, where I list all my expenses and then take however much I had left over on my, my loans and figure out from that point when my payoff date was, I could go the other way around. So what that meant was that in theory, I could calculate or backwards calculate how much I needed per month to put towards my debt that would then get me to my debt whenever my, the debt payoff was the, or the debt payoff date that I had decided. And I figured, you know what would be kind of cool is if I paid off all my debt in 10 months, I went through and redid my budget, starting with the end goal in mind and backwards calculated how much, it would need, how much I would need every month in order to pay off my student loan in 10 months, which would have been January of 2010 to, uh, this would be end of October, 2010. So I readjusted my payoff schedule and redid how much I needed to put in per month. And I remember uh, at that point I was going around, I think 120 bucks a month for food. So I really cut my food budget down and uh, really, cause I, I really wanted to, uh, to be debt free. Some of the other things I remember doing was my lunches. I took my lunch every day. My lunches consisted of bologna sandwiches. And if I was feeling especially, uh, I wanted to treat myself, I'd add another slice of bologna to it. Bologna sandwiches and ruffled potato chips. That was my lunch. And I would do that a few times a week. And then for the other days, there was a, there was a 7-Eleven that was right across the street from uh, where I worked. The 7-Eleven, so, uh, they had these things that were called bomb burritos. They were big old fat burritos. And my favorite was the uh, green chili and cheese for a buck. And what I would do is I'd get those. And then there was a Taco Bell that was about walking distance from where I lived. I would go to the Taco Bell and grab a couple handfuls of the mild sauce. And so I'd go, gra I'd go get a burrito or lunch at work for a buck. Had a water with me microwave it, I think it was like a minute on each side, and have it with my Taco Bell sauce. And I'd sit there and I'd enjoy my, my lunch. And here's the thing, I actually really enjoyed that. Um, my bologna sandwiches and my burritos, my $1 burritos from 7-Eleven. They didn't necessarily taste all that great. It wasn't so much the flavor that I enjoyed but it was what, it was the constant reminder that I was working towards a goal that I really wanted. Um, every time I took a bite of those, of those burritos, I remember that it was just, a, I remember sitting in the lunchroom and taking a bite of the burritos. And every single time I did, I was always reminding myself, ah, that's, the reason why I'm doing this is because this is getting me that much closer to my, uh, to my goal. There was a video I once I saw a little while back, little while back ago, with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he was talking about how he was always he was, he'd be in the gym and he'd be working out like five, six, seven times seven hours a day at the gym, working out, doing his reps, doing his uh, doing his sets, and he'd always have because at the time uh, he was in Austria and he wanted to win the uh, what was it the, the what was it called I think the Mr. Universe competition and that was his goal and so he was describing this time where he would be doing his reps and his everything like that and he'd be you know really working really super hard and he always have a smile on his face uh, and then he would notice that other people in the gym would come up to him and say hey why do you have a smile on your face you know you're you're working just as hard as the rest of us and you know and everyone else apparently you know had this sour look on their face and everything like that and he'd say you know, you know, he's like, because every time I would, you know, every, every new set that I was going to do and every new rep I was going to do, I had a goal. I was going towards that goal and it always made me, always made me smile. Or, and I really resonated with that because that is exactly how I felt every time I was eating my little, little lunch. So finally, it was the end of, or try, basically towards near the middle of of October 
And one of my favorite things to do during this whole time was every time I would get paid, I would always readjust, I always recalculate what my payoff date was going to be and find out, you know, am I on track and everything like that. So I always had to make sure you're on track and track your spending and track, in this case, it would be net worth because it was the, the value of the, of the debt. And so finally, it was the middle of October, right near the end of October. I had just gotten paid. I finally got paid my last paycheck. And with that paycheck, I went ahead and fired off. I think the, the last of it was around three or 400 bucks I had left over. And I think I added a little bit extra just to cover any interest. And uh, I think I fired that off in probably, I think like October 31st or something like that. It was, it, I wanted to make sure I hit that thing uh, ready to, you know, on the, the, the on that, but by the 10 months, uh, because I had that debt in, in the crosshairs. Trigger was ready. I just needed that bullet. And that bullet came in the form of a paycheck. So once I finally had that, I sent it, finally sent it off. And it wasn't official until November, like November 2nd or something like that. I'll actually post my uh, payoff schedule. So you can see how I, what I was able to do. But finally, I was debt free in 10 months, 22,000 in 10 months. Working two jobs, and I still, I still did that for about another uh, six or seven months after that. Having a second job at a restaurant helps in two ways. Number one is you get a little bit of extra income, but number two, it also helps reduce the food expenses because I'm, I'm able to eat there a little bit. I get discounts, major discounts for working there. But the thing was, is I was a host at IHOP. This was uh, the, the lowest on the totem pole. I'd be lucky if I would get maybe a 2 or $3 tip every uh, a month, if that. Hosts just generally don't get tips. At least back then it wasn't. But every dollar counted. Every hour that I worked counted. And it all made a difference because at the very end, every single dollar did make a difference. I didn't go out. I didn't go to the movies. I didn't do any, any, kind, of, any kind of entertainment. Um, I was always doing everything I could to reduce the amount of uh, my bills. So water bills were getting reduced. I was trying to reduce the water bills. I was trying to reduce everything that I could. So if I would list out everything that I th think that it was important, that, that made it so that I could pay off the debt as fast as I could, is first of all, is having a budget is is there is no way around it the budget is the number one tool that you'll use and then most importantly with that budget is you have to have a goal with that budget um, budgets don't exist in a vacuum meaning that you can't just list all your expenses and list your income and then dole out all of your expenses and then whatever's left over put that towards your whatever your goal is that works but what I mean having a goal is you find out what you want to do by when. So from X to Y by Z, by some certain time. And then you backwards calculate how much you need to put away per month in order to reach that goal. Because that ultimately is what's going to keep you on track. Uh, having a goal and having a budget is definitely probably the most important aspect that I did when it came to paying off my debt. Having some form of a tracking measurement of some kind of a scorecard is another major uh, advantage in that uh, strategy. Another thing that uh, really uh, made a difference was going through each expense line item by line item and seeing what could be eliminated and what can be reduced. Uh, and finally also obviously adding extra income. That's another big one. But I think ultimately it really boils down to how much you want your goal. What's the most important aspect of it? How badly do you want it? Because that right there is going to influence whether or not you decide, okay, are we gonna go out for dinner today or are we gonna stay home and make mac and cheese? Or are we gonna have bologna sandwiches and, 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 and you know, $1 burritos? Uh, or are we going to you know, go to the movies or something like that? Because that, that influenced every single decision uh, that I made during that time and the same thing carried through to baby step three All right, I was still doing the exact same thing But baby step two and paying off that that 22,000 was the main 
uh, it was the biggest thing that I had ever done. So, anyways, I uh, I hope you hope you enjoyed that a little bit. Uh, get my uh, morning a uh, little bit of a morning exercise out in there. And uh, so, if you like this content, uh, be sure to go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up. You know, appreciate, I would really appreciate that. Uh, and go ahead and subscribe if you want to go ahead and see more. And have a great day. See you later.